y'all. How was your weekend? Uh, this week we are going to learn about different careers in art because art does not just mean you can paint and draw. There's lots of things that people who are in the arts can do like graphic design, uh, illustrators, they can be um, work in public art, uh, museum curators, teachers, working artists, uh, what else? Oh, um, cosmetology, um, industrial designers. But we are gonna start today with architects. Fun fact about Miss Lopez Taylor, I used to wanna be an architect. And then um, I went to the Guggenheim Museum in New York City and I saw these maquettes. So maquettes are um, like a little 3D sculpture of the future building that the architect has designed. And I was really, really scared because it, it seemed like so much work and it, there were these tiny little pieces like, but oh my God, if you're good at Legos, and you, you know, you can build with all those tiny little pieces and you have the patience for all that, maybe you would be an amazing architect. So an architect designs buildings. The architect is who makes the plan. So they make a plan on, well, their plans is called the blueprint. And it literally is on paper that's a blue, that's a grid. Well, nowadays, our architects usually probably use computers more than they would an actual blueprint, but they do have a sketchbook where they sketch and they design their layout of the building. They do the measurements and the materials that they're gonna do or use for the building and what goes where. And so we're gonna be designing our own building using different kinds of shapes because everything begins with the line and the shape. And so this is an example, you know, I have a circle here and I use two circles here a half circle or an arch right over here, triangles, and all the different shapes that I have in here. I'm gonna introduce you to three of my favorite architects. This is Frank Lloyd Wright. He has a, one of his famous buildings is called Falling Water. It is a house that is basically built on, on the rocks and in the rocks, if that makes sense. He uses the part of nature as part of his design and there's a waterfall coming out of the house and it's tucked into the wilderness. And then there's Frank Gehry. Uh, I love his building here. This is the Walt Disney Concert Hall and it reminds me of like folded paper. Like he really literally just folded paper and then made it come to life. And so this is a building in California. And this is one of my favorite buildings by Santiago Calatrava. This is the Milwaukee Art Museum. And when you look at it from the outside, these look, these are wings is what they're called. And they're kind of, they kind of look like bones of a whale. And at certain times of the day, the wings open and they close. So these are three very different designs that, you know, a building doesn't have to be so simple you can make it complicated and because you are the artist, you are the architect, you get to design your own building today. And so your options, I'll explain to you in a second. And here's a little commercial break for my Schoology lessons. Don't forget that new lessons are up. You can click on week six for your work. You'll see the hello message, the artworks that we're gonna talk about, click on the Flipgrid and scroll down so that you can submit your answers. We have the assignments for the week, activities for the week, and videos that help you answer the questions here. Now back to your regularly scheduled artwork. I decided to make a wax resist. So I'm gonna use a white and gray crayon and then I'm gonna paint over it with blue so that it's my blueprint. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. You can use blocks. You can build with boxes covered in paper. Uh, you can trace shapes. You can print shapes. You can use blocks, Legos, build with straws, popsicle sticks, and then take a photo. Use whatever materials you have at home. Don't forget to upload your artwork. Check your Schoology for your weekly activities. Happy art making. I'm proud of you.